Yo YouTube, it's Mr. 200 meters. Um, today I'm back with just another talk, man. Um, before I get into this video, I want to say a big shout out to the classic Manny um, and Manny a day because they inspired this video. Literally, um, two great, amazing male content creators and one of my a few of my many inspirations on why I started these um, but yeah why I'm making this video is plainly because I just felt inspired after what they said they said some really good stuff so the inspiration came from watching Manny's um, support um, video so the video is actually titled support within the black community um, and obviously he talks about certain things which I'll get into in a second and also I also watch Manny Addy as well within it he was talking about um, collaborations that he's open to collaborating and all that stuff so it kind of had me thinking um, yeah like support within the black community has been a topic that is being talked about um, by a few people on the TL on my TL for example especially the classic Manny this is not a planned video um, I've literally just finished watching those videos and I just thought you know what knowing me the way I make my videos I'm a sort of person I'm very capricious I'm very on the spot I thought oh, I might as well make a YouTube video do you know what I'm saying I mean this is something that I talk about and I want to talk about so I might as well just obviously share my thoughts with you guys the YouTube community that's black has grown so much from when I knew it because I remember from before I jumped on YouTube the only people like that ever I ever really saw that were really in my pace were like KSI and then soon, um, soon after Deji um, the gamer there was other youtubers which the names um, kind of are not in my head right now but yeah like those are the main people that I saw in front of me do you know what I'm saying those are the main people that I was like yeah like you know that, that looks cool that looks cool they were all some sort of they were all like towards one side you know they were gamers um usually the i saw um obviously i wasn't a major person who used to watch youtube all the time i was a sports person who was just outdoors most of the time but when i did come on that's what i saw however obviously jumping on the youtube i've started to notice that there's a rise in males trying to jump on this youtube thing and first of all i want to say that i applaud any guy who stands up and says you know what i'm gonna do this youtube thing i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that um, i'm gonna be so honest when I started my YouTube, I was frowned upon a little bit. Not to say that it should affect me, but I did notice that there was a certain stigma. Like people used to think, quote unquote, he's gay for having a YouTube or starting a YouTube. Why is this guy carrying a camera around? Um, I had a little, I had like lots of random comments. I literally, in the start of uni, um, I think I made a tweet a couple of days ago. I put, I love watching my first vlog because for me that encapsulated a lot of the memories and a lot of the feelings I felt when I first started that because if I didn't overcome those fears or those feelings I wouldn't be here where I am and aiming for better things um, so for me this video is very meaningful to me because first of all it's like I just want to share with you guys my experience um, being a male youtuber is just crazy um, because for me I feel like sometimes there's certain limitations to what I can do and I don't think it's because of anyone directly I believe it's just because of my own self um, the fear of being labelled certain things or the fear of being judged or this this that and in my last video in one in a video I posted just before I think I briefly talked about yeah I can't just come and do makeup um but you know what it is I I can if I wanted to I think it's just a stigma like oh why is he doing makeup like do you know what I'm saying or oh, people might get at me but yeah I have to remember to embrace my stupidity as Manny Ade says that's his tagline and I really need to embrace my stupidity like Manny says as well the classic Manny he always says um be, be unapologetic with it basically and it's true I need to come into this platform and give you guys me regardless of what the rest of the people say i will always have haters but i need you guys to see who i am and that's what i wanted to do with this youtube i wanted to be true pardon me if my thoughts are all modeled up but just hear me out i've literally not planned this i'm just speaking from my heart and my mind right now that's what it is um there's a couple youtubers i really need to obviously shout out um these are these are the male content creators that are in my radar right now first of all i want to shout out flex pro fitness Flex Pro Fitness is Steven. He's just started a YouTube channel. I bumped into him in NN2. That was the first time I ever met him. Um, I went to visit a friend and I met him. And he's an amazing guy who has a dream. He just wants to do fitness. But he does it in a creative way. He was new to editing. He's new to the whole game. But he's someone I really, I really 
I thrive off looking at his energy and his uh, how he's inspired by that so shout out to flex pro fitness guys everybody that i'm gonna name i'm gonna put in the description box below so please support and support each other because i'm gonna go into that support segment in a hot sec but please support these people and um any more people that i find i'm gonna put them up on the screen because honestly i only have a small list right now but i know there's a couple more people that have inspired me it's that i melt especially and any female that's inspired me, man, everybody's going to be in the description box. This is like a thank you video at the same time. Obviously, big shout to Shivenchi. Shivenchi is Shaheem, one of the Ask the Man them guys. I don't know if his YouTube's out there right now. I don't know if he's even going to go ahead of the YouTube. But I want to say a big thank you to him because he's one person I've seen go through some difficulties in the public eye within as a, as a product of YouTube and media. Um, not a lot of people know about this. I'm not going to discuss that. But I respect how he handled himself and I respect what he's about and he's very unapologetic with it. He is himself. So shout out to him. Shout out to my guy, the classic Manny, for being himself. You know, one thing I really love about him is he's a very supportive guy on and off the TL. Always, 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 always pushing my content. And this, like, I don't know how he found me at the start, but boy, like, it's, it's been a blessing to know the guy. I don't even know him that well, but I know that he's an amazing guy type thing because he does his own thing. And watching his videos, he he's on he's unapologetic with it. He does his own thing, and I really, really respect anybody who does their own thing and faces adversity. That is one thing I thrive off, and that's one thing I always wish I could teach anybody who has not been able to achieve their dreams, you know, whatever it might be. And um, it's one thing that I really am appreciative of. Also, shout out to Manny Ade. He just started his YouTube off and he's doing amazing as well. Um, shout out to him. Um, literally, he watched me and Enam just do our thing. Very silent. It was very silent in the corner. And then eventually one day, I'm starting a YouTube and you know what? He's got a personality for it. He's amazing for it. And he's captivating. You know, he's original. His ideas are just amazing. And luck to him. He's doing his own thing. But we talked about Enam. Shout out to official Enam as well. Enam is my boy who I met at university. Um, he's a content creator. He's one of the funniest people I know. Um, it took a while for Enam to produce content bears because he had a YouTube before me, but he just he was he was just busy doing other things. But I'm so happy that he's doing it because he's he's one of my inspirations because he's one of the most creative guys I know um, in everything. Talented with a camera, talented with the visuals, skits, like everything, man. It's crazy. So, guys, check them all out. Also, shout out to Eman Kellum as well, Eman's blogs. Um, he's one person as, as well, actually. I didn't mention before that I saw on the YouTube, you know, the most popular video we, we all see is pranking my African dad, but he's really been grinding way before that. Um, so, respect to him as well for doing his thing. Um, but yeah, going into the video, um, more, more so than I have already. This has been a couple minutes, hasn't it? I apologize. One thing that really touched my heart was literally. Um, the end of uni had ended obviously I had to leave uni but I was still around the uni um, university scene and a guy came up to me with his camera and was like hey it's Mr. 200 meters hey look at the guy he's the guy he's the guy I was thinking raw then he must have said oh bro like thank you so much that you inspired me to start my own YouTube um, just because you just did your own thing and like it really inspired me and I saw that as raw like this guy and he was in a he was in a crowded place with a camera and a light he was doing his own thing and I really respected that because it's not easy to carry a camera out and do these things guys it, it takes it's daunting it, it is daunting but to see people not even being inspired by me alone but just to step out there and go out of the comfortability like it's just an amazing thing for me and I'm so blessed that I'll be able to help people but more so I'm just so blessed to be able to see it happening um I've been blessed to be supported by some amazing people shout out to Manny official Enam Just Jums um Mo Chunks was one of the few people that really believed in me when I first started um like that was a big thing for me I was I think I did a collab with her and yeah she was the first person that was reaching out to me um and she really was one of the few reasons a big shout out to her i don't think she understands how much of an impact she had on me um because yeah like she really believed like she i don't know she she just she just believed i would do well and she told me that she made sure that i know that and that spurred my confidence to do well fam you guys support your people treat your friends like celebs man let them feel it get me let them let them feel like a celeb let them know where it is let them carry themselves because you know what i'm saying that confidence is so needed in in things like this because content creating is not easy at all you know First of all, it's the ideas. Then secondly, is the execution. How can I make this original? Because YouTube is is a place that there's so many similarities, you know. And it kind of comes into that stage where well, everybody's kind of looking at YouTube now. Well, it kind of looks like why is everyone copying each other? Why is everyone copying each other? Like I never worry about someone stealing my idea or copying me. From for me, it's not that deep to me. Reason being, it's a small space. Even though it's very big, it's a small space. People tend to want to do the same things. Um, and I'm I'm not a person. I don't require nobody to shout me out. I don't need none of that. Like. If you want to do something, 
don't let nobody tell you not to do it however there's seeing someone do something exactly the same as you it's kind of scary but at the same time i think i feel like as as black people um let's we shouldn't be hung up by those things because like when you're when you're setting pace people are going to copy you like you're trending you're what's popping so i take that as a compliment if anybody copies me i'm like cool like what, what my responsibility is to keep innovating and if for them people who want to just copy the longevity will speak for itself you know if all they can do is just copy people are human people will start to see oh i'm so tired of that i'm so tired of this you know people will rock with you if they want to rock with you and people will not rock with you if they want to rock with you do you know what i'm saying but i know that it's very difficult i mean one big barrier for me um, with this whole youtube thing is that like i just always get nervous like i just i feel like i can't even do what i want to do like sometimes i'm a jokey person and there's been times people have done my makeup and i know there was one vlog i never posted why is that because a couple of my name entered my messages and started to bully me over the makeup it's not even that deep it's not like i was getting hurt but subconsciously affected my confidence i was like raw okay imagine i go take it to the tube now and yeah people are gonna laugh at me but then do you know what it is i shouldn't care i need to do what makes me happy and there are people who care for me and care and love for me so um yeah i feel like as a content creator especially a male that's it's very difficult but i feel like <sighs> this is to anybody who's starting up don't be worried about what people are going to perceive of you um just do it honestly people are going to rock with you people are not going to like it's it's all just let it be in the balance people don't need to be your friend people don't need to support you all the time because the people who really want to support you will support you and i've seen that very clearly like i I want to share like I made my YouTube before my YouTube ever went public I think the first time I ever showed my subscribers was when I hit 16k subscribers I did a 10k video but I did the, when I made it public was 16k I tried to limit how much Twitter I used to publicize how much Instagram I used to publicize I wanted to build it based off YouTube alone that's the way I believe things work for me reason being is because I wanted to see who would who would want to rock with me in it you know what I'm saying who would find me and actually be interested by my character alone not because i had a big following at the start but who would actually want to watch me on this platform which is a bit like whoa you're actually just watching people's lives um so that's why i did it and for me it worked perfectly because i usually have people who support me and actually really really support me um but then i also have people who don't support me and they shouldn't matter for anybody that is growing anybody that is scared or finds it daunting who cares about what these people think man do you know what i'm saying don't worry about them you're gonna do your thing and you're just gonna be amazing with it do you know what i'm saying a negative side of that is obviously with this whole support thing i've noticed that a lot of smaller accounts step on a wave that i don't really respect sometimes um i know that a lot of people will message me just so that i can help them people i don't know like and for me one thing i always say to people just step to me in a respectful way i don't really mind i'll watch your video i'm very busy but i'll watch it when i have time i'll support something i support but never force me to support anything that's one thing i don't like and i always find that i'm always forced to support things um subconsciously like for example um because i've had a go for me before i've had experience where somebody said to me uh oh, watch my video support this um and i said yeah i will i, I, I will but i'm not gonna put on my story right now i can't do that because i'm a brand myself there's things i have to do there's things i'm doing it's my story i will do this and obviously because i have a lot of people on some snapchat that's usually where they message me and i was like i'll do it when i feel like doing it in the most respectful way and then i had uh, someone say to me and they know who they are um they said to me oh but i donated to your gofundme and i thought raw like is that how you're trying to flip it because it's a thing where and this hasn't just happened once it's happened more, multiple times people try to control me because of that and it's so it's very sad to see because i've never forced anyone to do that for me it was something that was done by my boy he saw my situation and i was blessed to be able to have people support me so when i see people try to use that to manipulate and control me to do things for them that then you might as well have not done that because you're not doing that in the right mind if you want to support someone don't ever feel like you need to support them just because you're supporting them it's, i don't want you to just tweet or retweet my tweet because you have you feel like you have to do that i want you to genuinely be interested in what i say that's a more meaningful thing for me this is a message to anybody who if you don't like my stuff 
and you don't want to support it nobody's forcing you please don't feel like you have to because maybe we're friends it's okay support something that you're interested in genuinely i would rather have your genuine interest than a fake retweet or a fake thing because it's it's so jarring because um yeah i, I don't want to do tit for tat way because you've done that for me i have to do something for you i will support you if i if i really like what you're doing if i respect your content um and if you're passionate and enjoy what you're doing trust me people will just be like whoa like wow I want to work with this guy. I like this guy's personality. Even if it's fake for the camera. Yeah, I like the personality I see on the camera. Let's be fake together. <laughs> but yeah, guys, like honestly, um this video is kind of one just big thought like train like I, I haven't planned this. I've just spoke from my mind, my heart and Lord knows I'm sorry for if it's repetitive or but like I've literally I just felt like I just had to just speak as well on certain things and I've just been inspired by the classic money and money Ade and like the reason one of the reasons I wanted to start this daily vlog thing is because I wanted to get that confidence back that I had before I had a lot of confidence that's why I just used to breathe down the camera like you know what I'm saying I want to get a confidence back because I felt like I've not been myself properly I haven't been myself honestly I haven't been honest to myself so this one is kind of like for me to kind of this is for me as well I needed to hear what I'm saying and I, I made my videos so I can watch them back and learn as well um, because I needed to get a confidence back and snap back to reality that yo you can't please everybody but if you can make yourself happy there's nobody else that can take that away from you you know what I'm saying but yeah um, no a big night thing this um, so many people I just want to say thank you to um, and I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to every single subscriber that is messing with me um, for real like that is really on my channel to be on my channel to love and support everything I'm doing and not because they have to just because they want to do you know what I'm saying thank you guys so much um thank you to every youtuber that's ever like helped me hollered me like please message me I would love to do collaborations I am down for it um I just need to I'm working a lot right now and I'm busy because I just need to get the funds and then we're gonna make history baby I'm, I want to be on everybody's channel man I just wanna and that's how I started when I started YouTube. I did more collabs than I ever did videos. And I was so blessed that I never had to really approach people. People approach me, I don't know why. Hopefully, it was my personality. But like, yeah, I want to go back to jumping on everybody's channel, man. I love it so much. I love being on people's channels because, do you know what it is? It's, a, it's very different. It's a different experience. It's not even as stressful. Like... I don't know on your channel you have to think about what you're trying to say like well i mean for me i don't because i just chat rubbish but you know you guys love it so i love that um but yeah um i was like if you have if you want to collab with me please message me i will plan something and please don't be disappointed if i can't at the minute but i will try and i want to it's obviously the whole reality of going to a place or a destination um my house is always open um so i need to actually get down to it and actually call out with some people but yeah thank you guys for the love so much um yeah and thank you to these guys for um inspiring me as well to make this video um yeah i just wanted to make it on the back of what i heard and yeah shout out to classic money man love and keep doing your thing and um, to all the male content creators doing their thing please don't ever 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 have to apologize to nobody for nothing and yeah man be on apologetic but that's something i've learned even from experiences that have recently happened yeah be yourself man do whatever makes you happy man do you know what i'm saying shout out to every newcomer on youtube that i know all the friends as well i'm gonna put everybody in the description box um thank you guys for the love so much shout out to bella and zibs doing their thing congratulations on your 7k subscribers soon 10k soon 20k soon soon 1 million you know what i'm saying love that um fam i never know how to end videos um but uh see you guys later please like comment and subscribe if you like this video share it with a friend um yeah love I need a pound. Smoking dope, put me in the clouds. Call the plug, say I need a pound. Run it up with a plug, counting money in the truck. You already know what's up. Couple thousand in the trunk, only pounds, no bucks.